Good morning, yogis and yoginis. My name is Alfred Toth. Welcome to my backyard patio terrace. And today we'll be doing a short, hopefully about 20 minutes, yoga practice. What happens for me is that I start to practice. I'm thinking, oh, okay, I got 20 minutes. I start to practice and 20 minutes, it starts to feel, it feels so good that 20 minutes turns into 30 or 40 really easily. But today I'm gonna to try to keep it to about 30, 20 minutes. Come to your mat. By the way, this is the Life of Chai Yoga every Saturday or Sunday, every weekend. And then a food blog on Tuesdays, maybe a gardening blog. But if you like these classes, be sure to subscribe. Thank you, that would, that would be really nice. Come to your mat. We're gonna take just a moment couple of minutes to, to center and focus. So this is a morning, we're here, today it's Sunday morning. Sit in a comfortable position, sit tall, lift your heart. We want our spine, our column to be vertical, erect. Close the eyes and begin to focus on the breath, breathing in and out through the nose. Coming into your center. Right away, you should be able to feel the breath's calming effect. The breath calms and quiets the mind, and it also helps us to relax our body. Even though we just may have just woke up, by calming the mind, our body can get that little bit extra rest, a different type of rest than sleep provides. Focus on the breath. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, relax, soften. Relax the whole body, starting with the face and the shoulders and then the arms and then the legs. So when we inhale, we grow tall. We maintain that height as we exhale, breathing in and out through the nose. Long, slow, steady, even breaths. Try not to create any unnecessary tension with your breathing. Relax and soften with each exhale. Bring the palms to the heart center. Take a moment to either reflect or set an intention for your practice, for your day. Thank you. Inhale. Exhale, slowly open the eyes. Inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Again, arms up, inhale. Hands to the heart. One more time. Inhale, arms up. You can extend right and reach forward. Come all the way around. Right hand, the right arm comes to pick it up and then Open the shoulder to look up, still reaching through the fingers. Inhale, exhale, reach forward, extend through the fingers. Left arm comes, swings around to pick it up. Open the shoulder, look up, reach through the fingers. Inhale, one more time each way. Exhale, swing around, reaching forward through both arms as you come around. Shoulder opens, look up, reach through the fingers. One more time, reach forward. Bring it around, open the shoulder, reach, and we come back to center. Sit tall, lift the heart, inhale, and twisting to the right. Inhale back to center, lift the heart, exhale, twist left. 
Inhale back to center. One more time. Exhale, twist right. Inhale to center. Exhale, twist left. And we come back to center. Coming around to downward facing dog. Oh yeah. Pedal into this one. First one of the day. Your calves are going to be a little bit tight. So you want to break through that. And then press back evenly. Lengthen back. Hold this just for a few breaths. Long, slow breaths. Breathing again in and out through the nose. The whole time we breathe in and out through the nose. Shift the weight into your hands. Shift the weight out through the whole palm of both hands and into the fingers. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step, walk, or jump to the front of your mat. Half lift. Remember, this is an extension of the spine. And then a slow fold, forward bend. Make sure that your hands can either touch the floor. If they don't touch the floor, bring them to your shins. Uh, this forward bend is going to get easier with each one. Bend the knees a little bit. Come all the way up. Bring the arms up overhead. Inhaling. Palms together. Hands to the heart. Sun salutations. Inhale, arms up. A little back bend. It's optional. Slow swan dive forward bend. Inhale, lift the heart. Half lift. Step or jump to plank. Now I'm going to do a cobra. So if you're still warming up, feel like you want to go a little slower, just do a cobra. Come down to the mat. Inhale, lift. And then tuck toes. Push back. Down dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, walk or jump. To the front, half lift with an inhale. Exhale, fold. And you come up with an inhale. You can bend your knees a little bit if you need to. Palms together, hands to the heart. Okay, let's do that again. Inhale. Exhale. Breathing in and out through the nose. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. So you can see the rhythm. Now we're going to do one more. Do this one at your own, following the rhythm of your own breath. Maybe faster, maybe slower. Inhale, bring the arms up. Going to do one. Exhale, forward bend. Lift and lengthen, extension. Plank. Inhale. And we lower to the mat. Four. Baby Cobra. Inhale, lift. And release. Inhale, lift. And release. One more time. Tuck the toes, down dog, press back, long, slow, deep breaths. We're going to hold this just for about three or four breaths.
Inhale, look forward. Exhale, walk or jump to the front. Lift the heart, inhale. Exhale, slowly fold. Come up with an inhale. Palms together, hands to the heart. Hands on salutations, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Step back, plank. And again, you have your two options. You can just do Cobra, or you do your Chaturanga, up dog. Down dog. Inhale, look forward. Step or jump to the front. Lift the heart. Exhale, fold. Come up with an inhale. Exhale. So we're going to do one more. Do this one. Follow your own breath. Your own rhythm. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. Plank. Vinyasa. So downward dog. Right leg up. Bend the knee. Open the hips. Take a few breaths. Step that foot forward. And come up in a crescent lunge. To do one twist. Now remember, there's a, always a, a, a modification where you can drop your back knee if you need to on this one for a little bit of extra um, balance. Otherwise, otherwise you want to straighten your leg and press through the heel. Breathe. Turn to look up if you can. Bring the arms up. Inhale. And we take that left hand down for a simple twist. So now this is getting a little bit deeper this time. And from right here, we step back, side plank. And you can add extra strength moves, or you can take it down a little bit, body. If you need to modify, you can bring this top foot back like this. Or just hold out, you can have a foot in front. Breathing. Come to plank, vinyasa, the down dog. Do the left side, left leg up, bend the knee, open the hips. Step it forward. Again, there's an option on, uh, you can drop your knee if you need to. Otherwise, you straighten the leg and press through the heel. Look up if you can. Bring the arms up. Right hand to the mat. This is our simple twist. We're going to take just a few breaths here. <clears throat> Again, we're getting a little bit deeper into the hip, deeper than the last pose. And then step it back to your side plank. So this is, a, okay, so another modification. So showing some of the modifications would be forearm. Maybe taking your back leg down so you can keep your hips lifted. Or lifting your leg. So those are some of the modifications to take it up or down. Inhale, plank, lower, vinyasa. The down dog. Mmm, that starts to get the heart rate up a little bit. Inhale, look forward. Walk or jump to the front. Lift the heart. Exhale, fold. Come up with an inhale. 
Palms together, hands to the heart. Take just a two or three breaths. We want to reconnect with our breath. So you may, uh, you may want to shut your eyes. Long, slow, deep breaths, the same way that we started our practice today with our eyes closed, to connect, to relax, to calm and quiet. Open the eyes, inhale, one more sun salutation. on your mat and take the feet out about I don't know about three feet four feet what we want to do is bend our knees and you want your your knees to be more or less over your your heels and watch this here I'm here I'm up I'm gonna sink my hips so that my shoulders come up toward my ears okay this is a little bit of a twisting spinal twist inhale and exhale, look over your right shoulder. So you dip the left shoulder forward, looking over the right. Inhale back to center. I'm gonna move with the breath here. Dip the right shoulder forward, look over the left. Come back with an inhale. And again, left shoulder forward, dipping forward, look over the right. Inhale to center. Exhale, right shoulder forward. Looking over the left, come back to center. This time we're gonna hold it. So inhale, and the left shoulder dips forward. We look over the right and take a few breaths. Inhale, center. Exhale, right shoulder dipping forward. Look over the left, take a few breaths. back, heel toe, heel toe, feet together, okay, I'm going to come down to seated, I'm going to try to keep it at 20 minutes, and that's hard for me, because this, as you can feel, it feels so good to practice yoga, now you're welcome to continue after this 20 minutes, if you want to do more, that's always a good thing. Sit tall, use your hands to lift the heart, press through the heels, lengthen through the heels so we're stretching our hamstrings, the back of our legs. We're gonna do just a little twist here, right, bending the right knee, right hand comes behind. Notice how when I press down, I lift my heart and straighten my spine, lengthen my spine, inhale, reach up, exhale into the twist. Take a few breaths, keep pressing into your back hand to keep your heart lifted. Mm. So bringing health and happiness to our spine. One more breath, inhale. Exhale, slowly unwind, press forward, press through both heels. Again, use your hands to sit tall. Inhale, exhale, bend the left Leg. Left hand comes behind you. Again, you can see this. It's really obvious. Uh, just pressing into that back hand lifts the heart. This leg stays active. You want to keep pressing through the heel. Inhale, reach up. Exhale. Here's the twist. Okay, untwist, press through the heels. We tend to hold a lot of tension in our shoulders, shoulders and hips. So we're gonna, we're gonna address both of those right now. First, the shoulders, a moving, one of my favorites, a moving table. Separate your feet to about hip width apart. Hands come behind, 
fingers pointing forward, and then we lift our hips, and you can adjust your feet so that your heels pretty much right below the knees. Now this is our table, and if you take a few breaths, you can right away, you're gonna feel your shoulders, the stretch in the shoulders. Inhale, look back if you like, that's optional. Looking back is optional. Take an inhale and slowly lift your toes and roll on your heels to come into a seated. We're gonna do that two more times, okay? So inhale, come up, do a little bit more movement here. Look back, take a nice deep breath. Exhale, roll on your heels to come back to seated. Okay, press through the heels, lift the heart one more time. Inhale, lift. Oh yeah, shoulders. Big, huge shoulder opening. Come back down. Okay. Coming back onto our back, we're gonna take a moment for a little massage, rocking side to side. Rocking side to side. And then coming into a pigeon pose. We're gonna do pigeon on our back today just because it's a little bit a little bit of a time saver. Cross your right ankle over the left knee and we're gonna pull that left calf in toward the chest. Now what you wanna do is Pull enough so that you're right at the edge of your flexibility so that you can you can actually feel it and then hold it right there so that's the point of resistance that's where it wants to stop you hold it there and you actually challenge it a little bit take a few breaths okay this one's a huge hip opener Again, we've got our shoulders. Now we're gonna open into our hips. We're gonna hold this one for just a little bit longer, maybe 30 or 40, maybe even a minute. Long, slow, deep breaths. Try to relax and soften. Where do you feel the, the resistance? Probably right about here. This is where I feel it. Outer hip, outer right hip. And so that's where you wanna try to relax. Try to relax, keep pulling. And as you relax, it's gonna go a little deeper. Okay, relax or release that side. Cross the left ankle over the right knee, grab your right calf and pull it in toward the chest. And again, we're pulling right to the point of resistance, right to where you can feel the most of that um, stretch in the outer left hip. And again, try to relax and soften that area. That's the only way it's gonna go further. It's a, it's a two-fold process, using the breath and then consciously relaxing that area. Long, slow, deep breaths. Okay, slowly release. We're gonna bring both knees up. So this practice is just gonna get us ready for the day. Bring both knees up. Take your arms out to form a T. Inhale, and exhale the knees to the right. Bring them all the way down to the mat. Look left and take two or three deep breaths. Inhale back to center. Exhale, look, knees to the left, look right. Two or three deep breaths. Inhale, knees back to center. Hands on the knees, exhale, head to knees. So now you rounded the tailbone up. Now slowly release the tailbone to the mat. Extend each leg one at a time. And 
and make any other adjustments. We're going to take just a couple minutes relaxation here. Make any adjustment you need to be completely relaxed and motionless for the next two minutes. Take one long deep breath through your nose and a long slow exhalation also through the nose. And as we exhale, we relax and soften our whole body. Pay special attention to relaxing the shoulders the abdominal muscles, and then out through the rest, arms and legs, hands and feet. We slowly start to deepen our breath, keeping the eyes closed. Move slowly, not to, so as not to bring any unnecessary tension back into the body. Bend the knees, slowly roll to your right side. Start to deepen the breath, and from right here, we start to open our eyes. Use your hands to push back up to seated. Namaste. Thank you again for joining me on my patio. And again, if you like these videos, please hit the subscribe button and um, join me this evening. I'll be doing another evening. Thank you.